hello you are welcome to day two of the seven days church flyer design challenge all right in this video i'm going to show you how i created this flyer design that you are seeing on my screen this is i blessing and please if you are new to this channel or you are new to any of my video kindly do well to subscribe please subscribe to the channel like the video let's get started so the app i'm going to be making use of in this tutorial is the lab app you can get this app the premium version at the description of this video link to get the premium version is at the description of the video so the first thing i'm going to be doing right here is to edit the size of this background this is not the background size we're going to be making use of you can see it's large it's not you can see all right so we'll click click on these three dots on top and click on image size image size so the image size you are using make use of is 903 to 1280 903 to 1280 so the next thing i'm going to do is to import the flyer we are um we are modeling we are, we are working with get the background of the flyer the background from my gallery also so this is the background i'm going to be using but this direction let me change the direction to this you can see all right so this is the direction i'm making use of let me take it to the top can see for this it has a kind of blue effect on it so i'm going to import that blue effect to my canvas so here is it you can see this blue shade on top of the black image all right so once that is done you then go on to click on you click on this image at the background you can see this sharp edge Let's take this to the back. You can see the sharp edge. Sorry. Okay, let's lock this and hide. You can see this this image here has a sharp edge. So to blend the sharp edge to the background, let me blend it to the background. Just go to eraser, eraser to increase the um, blur. So erase the parts. Alright, so you can see it so now then blend. You can see how it's blending to the background right now. It's no longer as sharp as it was before. Once that is done, the next thing is to uh, let's talk, let's enable it so it will show. You can see that you can see the image I imported, the shape I imported, or the shadow I imported helps us to achieve the blue. Um, the, the blue flash on it all right then the next thing i'm going to do is to import is to start um, to import this image pastor's image so here is it So you can see this part also you can also see that this part is, is sharp let me work on this sharp edge also it's the same process go to your eraser increase this blur option then let's leave this a little bit and then you blow it you clean it you erase it that part erase it. once that is done you can see it's okay let's work on this more if it's not well done you do it repeat the process just to blend to your background, bring in the logo, the logo of the church, church logo. That's writing. Alright, so the first test I'm going to write is the phrase text. So I'm going to give it a font. I'm going to change the fonts. Click on fonts. The fonts I'm making use here is Avenial LT Pro Black. Alright, so also working on the size. This is it. You can see. Alright, you can see. Then let's give it 
some colors. The color here is yellow. So let me copy from here. I write the P. Just write the P. Okay. Then increase the size of the P. So then let me give this P a but before the name starts, let me write the next worship. So papers. Papers. So you can find it here. First when you click on your font, the font this this font here, papers. So you need to increase the size. on the line spacing the letter spacing I mean, so it should come together letter spacing okay. let me take it down to the back of this P right so once that is done you can see the and the brace and so let me copy from here and just type and then color Whites. Let me increase the size a bit. Please and please and please and worship. Okay, so if this P has a, an effect on it, it's a shadow, outer shadow, outer shadow, black. So for the outer shadow, I'm going to reduce the opacity. Let's say 15. Reduce the opacity. Give it a blur radius to this it to and the offsets. I just move it. Oh, that's much. Let me give the offset Y also. Alright. So you can see. Sunday, write another test. The Sunday service on the ribbon. Sunday service on the ribbon. So the font also for this is papers. Papers. New. Let me place it on it. But it has a little bit of curve and bending. So let's see. Let's leave it. Then give it to rotate, rotate a bit. Okay, so the next is let's bring this to the front. Redeem the test. So the next is a fellowship test. So from this worship, I'm going to copy and write fellowship. Fellowship. 
fellowship make sure you are the center redeemed fellowship church change the color to you can see what we are working with change the color to yellow the same color with the praise fellowship to so copy you can see the next the words under it So that's why we don't have to change it. On right, Sunday, then the next is then the next test is 29th January copy. 29th as the date. 29th January. Increase the size. points so you click on sunday again then copy then Finally done with it, but I'm going to add up this blue background. The blue background here, so it's also for my gallery. The link to get this resource is at the description, also. Okay, so let's click on it. So that is it. balance of this
I'm going to import the other parts of the for my gallery. This light effects for my gallery also. So this is the end of this video. Once you are done, you will then go to click on this option to save as image. Save as image to your gallery. And also save as project or image and image. Save as PNG or JPEG and then Ultra. Then you save to gallery. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe if you have not. Thank you for watching and goodbye.